So hello guys, we're going to try N64 emulation on the Nintendo GameCube. Now I am aware that it works a lot better on the Wii and the Wii U, but I just wanted to show you basically what uh, people should expect from the Nintendo GameCube. And some people might be interested because they want to get like the best image quality uh, compared to like the Wii because the GameCube uh, with the digital AV port well, it can display a uh, YCBCR422, which is uh, basically uh, the uh, digital uh, form of like YUV with compressed blues and uh, reds, I believe. So let's try it. But before we try the NOT64 emulator, I'm going to show you the official uh, emulator with um, with some games, basically. Four eighty P. As you can see, it is four eighty P. does work uh, quite smoothly but it doesn't have like some of the frame buffer effects that are not being emulated because you know this is the GameCube that we are talking about but other than that for at least supported games which is like 20 well 10 of them actually uh it does work pretty decent in my, in my opinion at least but for the other games it's going to be a crap shoot it's not going to work at all so uh yeah. I actually got like the in-game reset to work with this emulator, but for whatever reason I cannot do it anymore, so that's a bit wrong. Alright, so uh now we're going to try not 64, which is basically based upon Newpen 64 plus, I believe, with some custom modifications to it. And I'm going to show you uh first something that is quite simple, so Monopoly 64. And just play the game. Uh you may actually want to use the PAL versions instead of not 64, because you might struggle the, with the frame rate actually. <laughs> I'm going to try with uh, if it works with uh, two controllers actually. Um, so I'm going to set like two players. All oh, right, yeah. Uh, still like maybe if I use a like, controller, ah yes. So that's what I need to do. So controller two, then re return and start. But yes, a multiplayer does work with not 64. So if you have a game that doesn't run too slowly and you want to have a good image quality, uh, this can be a decent option. Uh, well, maybe not for Monopoly because as you can see, it struggles with the frame rate. And it has graphical issues. Like, uh... So that's not. Oh, uh, let's try another game. 
So how about the Kong Racing? That should be quite tough, but anyway, actually. To actually disable sound to uh, get it to like 60 fps all the time but other than that yeah it can work for like some games but not for like all of them uh, I'm going to try to like uh I know that Mega Man 64 works with graphical glitches but in stadium it has graphical glitches unfortunately uh, you can play like Wonder Project G2 in English. That will work, but not 64. But yeah, ironically, there's like no port of Quake on the GameCube. I believe there's one for the Wii. But not for the GameCube. I actually need to check on that. And I guess it's not working on not 64 either. Because yeah, if I resume, there's nothing. So, uh, So I guess that means this doesn't work then. Uh, maybe try Revolt. It is also on the PS1, but the N64 version is slightly better. But at least it works so far. This is so much worse than the Dreamcast version. Oh my god. Yeah, probably should play like the PS1 version instead, even though this version does look better, admittedly. This part is so important. Uh, oh yeah, it's a crap shoot for like most games at least. Uh, DD Kong Racing, but it's not so bad. Uh, let's try Doom 64. And I believe Dr. Mario 64. Oh, yeah, he actually got an official port, if I'm not mistaken. 
GFX overflow by uh, whatever is that? It's not working either. So, mm. uh, we can try Mario Kart with like the frame buffer stuff enabled. Yes. Even crazy if I. And the menu at least on not 64 when it comes to Mario Kart 64, it does look better, it does have like odd graphical glitches. Right. It should disable uh, the CPU frame buffer stuff. Yes. If I had like a BBA and was hosting like a ROM on the FSP server, local server of course, because uh, the SD card adapter is not very fast. But I mean, it should still work even with the. I mean, it does obviously because that's what I'm using. Yeah, so this is the stuff that I'm interested in. So, it's. I thought this was going to fix this issue because this makes you slot of like the frame buffer textures, but it doesn't actually. Yeah, you can also try widescreen, but it doesn't do much either. So, I'm going to disable all of that. Uh, I don't know what clock divider is. I believe it actually down clocks the Nintendo 64 uh, to uh, allow it to run. I believe that's what it's doing, but. Yeah, that's what the clock divider does. It seems. And it. Oh! Oh! I'm not doing any of that, by the way. Well, it doesn't matter, it's because. So that was not 64, and the official uh, emulator on the GameCube. Uh, not a good experience, but if you want to play some Mario Kart with, with like the official uh, N64 emulator, you can do that. If you want to play like Wonder Project G2, you can also do that as well. It's only like a few games, and if you want to play Super Mario 64, it will also work with the official emulator as well. I haven't tried like ROM hacks with it, but ROM hacks, most of them, they require the expansion packs or don't think that will work like so uh that was pretty much it guys so thank you and bye